In this video, we're going to look at a new feature of Sharp Tools, which will allow you to take a screenshot of your rule so you can easily share it with others. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. Like I said, in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into our Sharp Tools app and we're going to be going into the rules engine. Now, once in the rules engine, there is a new feature that allows you to screenshot rules. So I have this away lighting um, automation that I did a while back, and it is very, very long. So let's go into that real quick. So this is the rule. And basically what it does is it turns on and off lights when we're gone, which will make it appear that someone is home if you're looking from outside of the house. So all of these lights are like on the perimeter of the house that can be seen from the outside windows and it's very very long so to share this rule it's kind of difficult because it's very very long but what you can do now in sharp tools is if you go to the top of your rule you can tap on the three dots right here and then you have an option to take screenshot so if we tap on that what it's going to do is it's going to take a screenshot of the rule so now you have the option to close or download. So we're just going to go ahead and download this. And at the bottom, I'm on an iPhone, so it might be a little bit different for Android. Just tap on more, and then you'll have the option here to save the image. So we just saved the image. Now if we tap done, and we can tap close here. We go over to our photos, and this is our actual rule that is now screenshotted. And now from here, you can easily share this with someone else. So I am now over on my Facebook group. And if you haven't joined this group, I definitely recommend joining this group. Um, it's very easy to help people with problems because they can send pictures and we can, you know, kind of message back and forth. And then also you have 434 other people that can help you. You know, the group is growing pretty quickly. So if you have any questions about Amazon Alexa, smart things or sharp tools this is definitely the group to join that is all we talk about here now if we want to post that screenshot from our sharp tools rule all we're going to do is we're going to tap on photos and we're going to tap that photo there and now our photo is going to be added to this post so now i'm going to just say something here all right so we have our post all done and then if you join the group you'll be able to see this post and we're just going to tap on post at the top. All right, so anyone could come into here and they could tap on this picture and then zoom in and out, look at what I've done here, and then set the same thing up for themselves. That is pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. This is actually the longest rule that I have um, in Sharp Tools right now because it's something that repeats over and over again. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I read and respond to every single comment. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.